Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm That's good. That's a How girl. Are <laughs> How are you? I am well. What you got for me? I'm 38. Mm -hmm. I so am. what do you have for me? Um, I wanted you to assess what you thought my value was because I do date. Um, I just okay. got back on the market and I prefer high value men. Uh, well, I'm Older not really doing ratings, but I can give you an idea. I can give you an idea, again. but I, I'm saying I'm really not doing ratings, but I can give you a general idea. Okay, let's go. Uh, how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Dress size? Four. Um, how much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 130. It was like 136. Okay. Uh, any children? Yes. How many? One. Uh, age and gender? Nine. Female. We got a girl. Okay. Baby girl. Okay. And you were married to their father? Her father? I wasn't. Okay. Uh, hard truth. I even said it earlier on Instagram, so if you go back, you'll see it. A kid knocks two points off of every woman. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So let's say if, if, if you're a 10 and you have a kid, you drop to an 8. If you're a 9, you drop to a 7. Okay. Um, because it's that big of a deal. Are you looking to get married? I am. Okay. Are you, are you 38? Yeah. Are you I turned 39. Do you have any more children? Okay, you're looking to have any more children? Um, it depends. It depends on my mate. Um, mm -hmm. I do date older men, so if he ends up being a certain age, then I'm going to opt out of that. But okay. I would like to have another child. I would like for my child to have siblings. Okay. Um, Just maybe one. Okay, so, and the thing is, when you put this high, and you're like a CPA or something? No, I'm, I work for a public accounting firm. I'm an advisory. I've been in fi corporate finance for 16 okay. years. Okay, so automatically, what starts to complicate things is when women start talking about high value, high value men tend to what have to, you don't tend to become high value until 30, you're 35 or 40 years old. Mm-hmm. Then they want babies. Right. And you already got your baby. You but I got one. Again, you got one, but logistically, take you out of it. Yes. You know that if, that if a man is looking, has had to wait and delay gratification, he's going to want to have more than one kid. He's going to want to have three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the only child. I tell men, don't do one. Two is... So three okay. is not in the repertoire. So it's you're not. looking for an extremely specialized, high-value guy. You're looking for a guy who wants one kid. Um, and it's all right with being a stepfather. Mm-hmm. Yes. What state are you in? I'm in, I'm in Houston, Texas. Oh, geez. Yeah. And, and the Houston is loaded with finesse Negroes. Woo! I know, man. Uh... I gotta, I gotta ask, why high value? Why does he need to well, make that much well, money? Well, it's not even about, it's, it's about a well-rounded man that's been groomed properly. First of all, I'm, I've been in corporate finance for a long time. Then where yeah. I'm going, where Tiff, I'm going. That, you gotta tell me, to, uh, it comes down to this. If you got married, it's coming down to He has to be to able somebody. to match my fly at least. Okay, and then what's Mentally. That? But what is the income though? Um, where's my income? Give me a range. Don't give me specifics. We in the six figures. We're doing well. We're doing well. And, and I was doing well as an entrepreneur. And do you care if he's black or not? I don't care if he's black or not. I prefer but to be a good black man. Is, but your I child, is, your father, is, a, is, a, is your child's father black? Yes, he is. All right. So it, it will matter. Because it will matter. Because yeah. it tend to be... So... 8% of black men earn more than six figures. And you want him to match your fly. And because here's what it comes down to. If yeah. I gave you, uh, um, call him James. Actually, call him Kenneth. 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 And you no, and Kenneth my were... daddy named Kenneth. Please All right. Well, call him, call him Thomas. I don't know. 
Okay, you and Tom, kids. Thomas. All right. You and Thomas is doing fine, and Thomas is making sixty. He's a he's a master plumber, and he gets sixty dollars an hour, but he's really making uh, sixty five, seventy thousand dollars a year. He's in the top fifteen percent of black men, but you and Thomas decide to get serious, and you want to get a home. And you're gonna get a home based upon his income? No, you're gonna want a home based upon your income and your lifestyle and his income. But then it comes down to this. Let's just say the mortgage is $2,500. Okay. Uh, you were paying 1,700 of that and he'd be paying eight. Every bill that came down, you'd be paying two thirds of it and he's paying a third of it. Everything, everything, every gallon of gas you bought, you paying two thirds and he's paying a third. Every gallon of gas in his car, you paying two thirds, he's paying the third. And this is where the shit you see her take the drink has got tight. She's like, oh shit. Look, I can't this ain't that. Enough for some tea. I ain't playing with you. I'm listening. But the to thing that. is, but the thing is, it gets real there because it is hard for women to really think about splitting their money like that with a man. It's not so much difficult for me to think about it exactly because I think about the opportunity for us to become accredited investors now. That's why I think about the threshold, okay? So there are mm -hmm. several things I'm thinking about and then I know strategy. So I could take a plumber and, and have him have an entire business because that's the way that my mind works and so I would make that work for us. Put your penis up. Somebody you laughing. You, you see what you just did? I just you, you see what you just did? See how I gave I you I gave this. you a man who's I gave you a man who's out doing just fine on his own and you got to go make him make him earn one and, 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 and be like you. That ain't gonna work, boo. It's not so you're gonna emasculate the hell out of him. Because it's like, well, now I'm trying. I, I've been, Thomas, you've been a plumber for 20 years and you just happy. Yeah. But now she's got me trying to have a truck and this and that going over here and that. Well, why? Well, because she's used to working bags. And, you know, she thinks we can become accredited investors. And, it, and what's that going to be like sitting up in the bed on Sunday when Thomas wants to sleep in? Hey, you know, you should get up and start that website. We can do this. We can do that. Now, you see why I say somebody got to be on the same frequency as me, somebody that enjoys preparing and creating but you're on the a masculine next... frequency. Oh, okay. You're not on the right you're on a masculine frequency. Okay. So if you want to buy on that, okay, are you all right being one of five? Oh, I already had this scenario and I I didn't like that. Well then are you all right with letting Thomas just be you're not gonna accept Thomas. Why does Thomas have to be my scenario though when I'm surrounded by men that are like engineers and other, so they don't you know baby mamas? They're 40 years old because mm -hmm. they want somebody to give them for because because an engineer like myself who had to work to make up, I want three of my own kids and I don't be paying for yours, but I've been paying for in, mine. Yeah, every, every dollar I put in your kid's mouth is a dollar I'm not putting in my kid's mouth. But is there an listen, listen, listen. Let's take it away from you because it gets too personal. Okay. How was your child? How was this how was a single mother's child an asset to another man? Come on, accountant. Only in the legacy that she lives and leaves. But she's not an asset to me because there's no DNA tied to me. She's nine Absolutely. years old. She's I am putting into I am that man would be putting into your baby daddy's legacy. I Understood. would just be paying it. That's Understood. a big investment. Ooh. It's your investment, but it's I've been a stepfather. I can't go get the money back that I put into my stepson. But it's gone. Well, all the dollars I put into that, ooh. even though it was there, I, I have to accept the fact that it didn't go into my daughter's mouth. Right. Because as stepfathers, you have no legal claim. And how many stepchildren, how many times do you see somebody stepping up to get the, the 
ticking an award, and they want to say, I, I thank my stepdaddy. Oh, they always thank their stepmama and their mother. And, and man, you know this, how this goes. So your ambition, you make too much, and you waited too long to have a lot of opportunities in this area. That's true. I agree with you on that. So why did you wait this long? I was really focused on entrepreneurship, like during my 20s. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed my career. And I honestly did not take dating seriously. I was really dating for fun because I was really more so focused on my career. So you were And the only time I took it seriously was after I was forced to settle down, which by having my daughter at 30, and then it was like, okay, well, now I understand the value of Right, and so, and, and when I do this broadcast next week, and I explain to black women how they were, how they bought into this dream more than anybody else. I agree with you on that. And, and I, unfortunately, I can't undo that because you can't get those years back. Right. You will focus on your career. Okay. But that's how our parents advised us, honestly. That's what Even they were my sold. daddy advised me like that. Well, that, but the thing is, I'm not going to, look. But I feel like what I you're said, saying. The problem, is, the problem is that non-black women in your position don't look at their men with contempt. I agree. I, I, can, you, I, I, have, I have, have and have had clients who make far more money than their male counterparts, their husbands, and they are submissive. And they're not trying to get their husbands to become copies of them. Maybe it's because I associate blue collar work with, and this is my own fallacy, and I apologize to anybody that may feel slighted by this statement, but I'm just being transparent. Like, maybe I um, associate blue-collar work with not being well-traveled, um, intellectual, uh, Where have not you being to? a... I'm sorry? Where have you traveled to? Um, I've been to the Philippines, Japan. Um, there's several places I haven't been, but I've been a few places overseas. I've been, of course, a lot of places domestically. Um... I, I have a bucket list, though. I, I know of places I would like to go. There are places I plan on going in 2021 also with my daughter, you know, to, to start helping her. Well, who's her father? The world. Is this her father a high-value man? Um, he does well for himself. He is an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, um, it, I don't want to go into too much detail, well, but he's not thing. living okay. a lifestyle okay. so that's in alignment with mine. All right, so you put yourself in a in a position because I know, like I said last night, your income and your education do not matter, right? To to the kind of men, they don't matter. Like like, and that's what you're judging men on, and you know, and, and the guys who are actually effectively around what could work for you, you think they're beneath you. I don't think they beneath me. I just, well, I just don't try think they're to... beneath you. Your man, your, your money or your education doesn't make you high value. Right. They're just not. What you didn't say is if you if you met a guy who was in the top fifteen percent of earners of black men, you didn't say, "Oh, I would be happy and be thankful I got someone who'd be willing to step in and be a stepfather to my daughter and would be willing to take on." the liability of another man's responsibility. And I we would, didn't get to I, that part yet. But no, 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 but because we didn't get to that because you automatically said that you would try to get him to make more money and do other things other than realizing- I see what he, you're saying. Other than realizing he is giving you one of the get, biggest gifts of all. He is accepting your lack of, of giving him children and taking on somebody else. You should be washing his feet with your hair. Okay. Okay, so out of the eligible men that um are hey, man, to me right I, now and yeah. dating me right now, you saying that I should just be thrilled that these men are into me the way that they are? I'm not saying I can't I don't know the eligible men that you're dating. I'm saying that if a man who's talking about 
like Thomas, a man who's in the top 15% of earners of black men. Okay. And is willing to step in and marry you. That puts you in the one out of four black women that will ever marry in their lifetime. You should treat him like a king for the fact that he's willing to do that. In addition to the fact that you have a child by another man that he has to pay for. I agree with you. And ask him, how many children would you, how many children would you like to have with your wife? Probably going to be more than one, but he's going to accept one from you. And he has to raise one that you already have. He's the one that will be sacrificing a lot. So instead of trying to get him to do anything else, you should be, honestly, it's like, oh, thank you. Because see, what used to happen when women used to have children out of wedlock? Yeah. You were a pariah. No one wanted you. In China, in China, and in, in, you've been overseas, try this shit in Japan. Try it in Korea. You're called a, you know what they call you over there? Women who are unmarried over age 27 are called leftover women. Leftovers. Mm. But women with women who have children out of wedlock are pariahs. Mm. And we used to do that in this country, but we've made it okay to where you can even go sit up in a church with a child. To where you just think a man should accept it and be like, there's no big deal because I can take care of my daughter. But understand, you had a daughter, right? I did. All right. I do so, have a daughter. So so let's just say you change his name to whatever. Let's let's change his name to something sexy like Boaz. <laughs> you marry Boaz and Boaz, Boaz is matching your flow. Boaz is a uh hundred and ten thousand dollar uh, insurance salesperson. Okay. All right, he's doing his thing. Woo! You and Boaz got Boaz Jr. And then your daughter turns 14, 15 years old. You and Boaz have married five years. And then one day you come home and your daughter's in tears and say, what's wrong, baby? Boaz touched me. Boaz is dead. Everything that Boaz, you ain't going to, first thing you're going to do is fuck Boaz, fuck my kid, fuck everything else. Mm -hmm. What you do to my daughter, you got to deal with your ex, your ex-husband or your baby daddy, because she's going to tell his daddy. Boaz has to, being a stepfather to a daughter in the Me Too generation, it's asking for a lot of problems. Trust me, which is why when she was born, I literally said, I ain't dating I said, fuck it. I said, I'm going to wait till she 18. But now well, I would like a companion. So I know what you would like now. But the thing is, you have to ask yourself, what am I asking a man to do for me? OK. See, you ladies are good at saying what you want. And mm -hmm. what I'm good at doing is asking you what the kind of men you want want. But then when you have a child, much less a daughter, you you asking a man, I mean, you know how this happens. I mean, if Trust she me. says something, it's guilty until proven innocent. Trust now, me. Remember, I... remember what I said, you and Boaz had a child, Boaz Jr. It wouldn't matter, Boaz Jr. is there. Now, Boaz Jr. got to see how his mom has turned on his mom for his stepsister. Think that he gonna like his stepsister? And, and God forbid she was just doing it just to be malicious. Because you know how many times kids you know will call CPS children use stuff. Man, all these things are in man's mind. This is why I understand. This, we have gotten to the point to where you should not marry before you have children. And if you have a child, you should marry the child's father because. You guys have the investment. This is why I say it's all liability for a man. All liability. Understood. So I hate to, I get what you want. I do. I do. But you know, like I know, you want a man on a certain kind of income level. And I don't, I don't know if you got enough to, enough, enough there to make somebody who has those kind of options pick. He only gets but one kid. They've been choosing me though. Choosing you for what? Well, for one, I mean, 
Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Can I talk be for real? Yeah. When I talk to other men about the option of women, I can be honest with you, a lot of women can be beautiful, but they lack substance. All right. That's it, one choose, of my choosing pluses. You for what though? Choosing you for what? Um, right now, since I've been on the dating scene, they choosing me to date and date with a purpose. We date with a purpose. No, 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 no. Tell me, choose and see, this is what I talk about. Women will take the mistake that a man will choose you or deal with you as if that means he was going to marry you. No, no. I'm talking about a man chooses you when he's willing to drop to one knee and present a ring of significant characters in public. Agree. That's why I'm single till I'm married. So men will choose you because you're an attractive single mother who has sexual desire. And they're like, well, shit, let's go. Let's get it in. Let's do what we do. Let's talk. Let's let's talk this shit. Talk all this. Let's talk that. Well, now, you ain't just... Come on. I didn't say you were... You ain't, I didn't, you ain't I, got hold to on, be hold on, hold on. intimate Man, I did with not everybody. Say that. I did not say that. It's a lot of comments down there. <laughs> I'm not worried about the comments. I'm talking to you. Okay, come on, Kevin. Uh, you looking at comments. I'm talking to you. All right, I was multi. I'm saying that you're a healthy woman. Yes, you can have a great time with the man, but it is going to be difficult to find a high value man because that's what you want a man who's making a certain kind. It would be easy. Mm, your daughter's nine. Whew. She wouldn't be out of the house until 18, nine years. You'd be 47. Only eight percent of black men made that kind of money. I'm sorry, and y'all aren't happy with regular guys. I just don't. I don't understand. No, I'm not, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm just saying that. We know. I know. Thing. I know. But it's not your first choice. And if you did get them, you feel like you were settling. And, and we're not on YouTube and people on Instagram. People are watching. I, you, you and I know the truth. We know the truth. That it's not something you'd be proud of. It ain't like you be running out to people tell, "Oh, I'm so proud of my guy who's a plumber." Ooh, I just love his plumbing ass to death. Come on, that's not. I that's would not. listen if I choose him. Trust okay. and believe. Okay. It's gonna be. It will be for a reason. Of course, but many reasons. Then this is some of the problems of having dating with children, and because I, it, I agree. because because you have the child, you have, have grown accustomed to how you have to move. But every movement, every sacrifice you make, you have a child that is yours for the rest of your life. So it's all investment. You get a return. Somebody who's outside of you has no return. It's all invest. It's all expense. Investment. Men have an expense. And as a smart financial person, what are the one of the things you want to do? Lower Minimize your risk. What? Minimize, Minimize your expense. risk. Minimize your risk, minimize your expenses. So <laughs> I agree go. with you. So, I'm sorry, but that's what it goes down to. So, uh, so here's, I, know, I don't know what's wrong with you and your, your, your ex, but uh, that'd be your best bet. That's not my best bet, but I will, however, <laughs> <laughs> reevaluate my options and consider guys like it's not about the salary thing but i just need to consider guys that maybe I, there are cultured men that don't make six figures i mean cultured what do you mean cultured like i like where you that from well where are you from i'm from houston texas most city where the girls are pretty uh-huh i lived in houston for six years what what do you mean by cultured why is that so important i like to me? it is important to me because for one I like to be able to enjoy different things with the person. Art, music. Um, I like to be able to go to different museums. Um, I'm the type of person I could. Did you do that with your ex? Did you do it with your child's father? Uh, yeah, some of those things. Yeah, a couple but, of those. But that's things. not some, but not, but that it wasn't the nature of your relationship. No, it wasn't, and I and the nature of our relationship was a friendship. So let me. So so, a man that you reproduce with did not have. To romance you and do all this other kind of stuff, but then a man who only is going to be a stepfather has to deliver more. No, that no, that's no, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But that's what I'm hearing. 
in my history of dating, men have romanced me. I've enjoyed that. I mean, I'm that not saying romance. I'm talking about the culture and this and that. Blah, blah. He didn't have to do all that. He did a few of those things, yeah. A few. Yeah. A few. We, we, connected, we connected on a level that I would appreciate um, actually was consistent in other men. It wasn't consistent with him. But he was, what I'm it, saying is, he was at a place okay, in his life where okay, he wasn't but, but, but the thing mature. Is, but, so. The thing is, you said you want somebody who's cultured, mm -hmm. and your baby, your BD wasn't cultured. No, he was. He was Not very to, he was educated. Oh, okay. Was he cultured to the level that you're talking about? Um, I would say for the most part, there wasn't anything that we couldn't talk about. So I would have to say, yeah, he was real educated, intellectual. I mean, he was a guy that I, I liked and I enjoyed being around. So I would say yes. And I you actually set, date those kind of guys now. You can't set your standard higher than your BD. Well, I would say this. When you find I mean, any out, woman, any woman you, can't. You, you, so, well, well, Kevin, at some point you have to, right? So as you date, a, as you evolve, as you evolve, the, the level of, or your standards change over time. Okay, no, no, no. See, this is where you ladies get confused. Why? Because listen, my listen, standard... uh, listen, listen. Okay. Here's a business. Here's a here's a business problem for you. Name me a product that increases as it ages and gets used. Appreciating assets. It's lots well, of it's so, lots of so products. Just, no, 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 no. Name me product. name me a product. Give me uh, give me an example of a product. Okay, let's name, that, that, people, let's name what people relate to uh, in the retail, Rolex. It, it appreciates appreci in value? No, it doesn't. It does not appreciate in value with <laughs> use. Okay, not with use. Okay, That's what I, I, said. I hear what you're saying, with use. There's not. Exactly. Not in the, not in the terms you talk so, about. So what you ladies try to do is try to act, try to come and say, well, as I've gotten older, and more experience, I should be more valuable because I got more experience. Yeah, but the job you were on or the things you're doing got the benefit of your experience. I'm just getting you at the top of your experience. That means you want me to pay prime experience and I didn't get the value of you getting there. You're asking too much. For I think a, listen. I'm sorry older, to be needed dig so quickly, my bad. Older use. Just because, see, the thing is, you value yourself higher because you're matured and learned more and got all these other experiences. And But the thing is, that doesn't matter to us. Okay. When we look at, listen how men think about it. Hold on, it's going to get tight. That's just additional miles. We're looking at the fact that you, the gravity has been on you more and your kid is sitting over there. You cannot, y'all are all out of whack with how men think. And this is why you can't get what you want from us because you're valuing something up here that is a used vehicle with a lot of miles. Okay. Just because you hand washed it. <laughs> okay. I said this last night on my show. Do you believe that because here's my this is this is where I'm at. At 20, the way that I dated men is now different than the way that I date men at 38. Okay. And the expectation that I have, like while I'm interacting with them, even on like the surface level, when you do the first lunch meeting and all of that, uh -huh. my, expect, my expectation level is different now from that experience. Okay. Not that I expect him to pull out all the nuts and bolts and whistles, but uh -huh. my expectation level right. of transparency. That's the problem. And, and, and that's the problem. I, no, I said I'm not expecting that. I said I'm expecting a different level of transparency because of the way that I enter into the scenario. All right. But the thing is, at 20, you were 20 year old hot, you had 20 year old womb, you had 20 year old body count. You had 20-year-old trauma. You had 20-year-old experience. That's what we value. That's all it comes down to for us. <sighs> but don't you feel like with those Everything, experiences, a person see, can stop. add value to no. their lifetime? Look, 
if we plan men, on being listen, life partners, listen, okay, you want you want me to answer? Yes. Men yes. value your youth, your fertility, your purity, your femininity, submission, ability to cooperate, and fitness. And all of that is at your highest in your youth. The older you get, the older you get. Right. But nothing, no product gains, no product gets more expensive with time and use. You just sit back and say, well, I'm more valuable now because I'm not the same 20 year old. I am this, I am that. Fine. But have you ever been to the pawn shop? Yes. All right. You ever take something you really value to the pawn shop? I have. And did that hurt your feelings when they told you how much it was worth? Yes. I was like, what? Yes. That's you. We the pawn shop. <laughs> Come that, on, that, I'm, that's what I'm, I, Baby girl, I've been there. And you take something you really value to the pawn shop? This is a watch that tells time in France, Moscow, and Star. <laughs> Up in Fifth Ward, it's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> and, did you, uh, and here's the thing. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Did you take the money the pawn shop offered, or did you take leave with your product? I left with my jewelry. Well, guess what? Buy a dog. Die alone. There's a funeral plot out there waiting for you. I don't think I'm going to die alone. But, like you, but you get the ultimate point. But I, your your I standards could. are up here. And you're, and, you're, and you're like most women. Go to my show last night, and there were 20 calls. And then the show before that with the single mothers, another 15 calls. Yes, 35 women one. all arguing with reality. And like but six I, of I feel like I'm in touch with my reality. I just well, feel hold, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, you're in touch with your reality. You are in touch with your reality. Unfortunately, that's you. Huh? And that's why I say, guys. Women honestly believe this stuff. I give it. You're in touch with your reality, but it's your reality. Our reality is I'm a high value man. I can pick you, her, 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 her. I'm going to pick the best deal on the market. I know, and that's what I've been experiencing. Um, but mainly what I have understood is that if I bring peace to the scenario, that's also wonderful. Like, I have things to bring. They're no doubt. Bring. But here's the thing. All the things you have to bring, peace. And those other things. What about when you bring it and another woman brings it and she's 27 years, 26 years old and wants to have three of my children and no kids? Okay, well, okay, well, let me ask you this one see, more thing. Listen, 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 listen. But see, the thing is, you guys never think that someone's bringing to the table what you have and more. You always assume you're the most valuable. No, I do because it's Houston, Texas. It's a lot of, I know what's out here, okay? But I'm saying to you this, if I consider, which I have, consider that I like dating seasoned men, okay? And I mm -hmm. understand in that scenario, what, seasoned men meaning what? Because I'm not having that Season men meaning what? Conversation. Season men meaning what? Fifty plus. And what does that mean? I'm fifty two, and I will tell you right now, I don't date women your age. Oh, but they, oh baby, but they liking it though. And uh, I'm just saying it's cool listen, though. Listen, 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 what I'm about to say. Okay. I don't date women your age, not because I can't. It's just I don't want to have. I don't need to do all. I don't. Women your age tend to. This is a fun back and forth for content, but I'm not going to do this in my personal life. I'm dealing with women who are younger, who are happy to be there. They're cooperative and all sorts of things. And then they, and they listen to women your age and they're like, they know who my competition is. And they're like, oh, I can beat her because all I have to do is not try to be as demanding. And the thing is, I mean, no offense, man. It's not like I've never met a black woman who didn't think her JJ was the bomb. Y'all all think y'all are the ish. And I'm going to tell you, no, no. And I've, and, and we, I'm not, I'm, trust me, I've had plenty, plenty. I believe you. You said you was a 
And the thing is, so it's like if 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 a woman I'm dealing with is, you know, a bona fide LA nine, and she's on my program, and she's like, I can beat her because, and I'm not as demanding in the ass and all. I take her to uh, Ruth Chris. Yeah. She appreciates it. I take her to Aruba. She appreciates it. You just expect it. You like, oh yeah. Not... Listen, listen, not you. Uh, uh, so okay. Let's go down. Let's go to Bahamas. Oh yeah, I love the Bahamas. We should go. There's a store. Wait a minute. Everything I've done with you, you've already been. Oh, let's have a baby. Oh, I've been there too. Ain't nothing new with you. Ain't nothing new with you. Buy a car. I already did that. You own your own home? I have. I'm about Wait, to own nope. another one, though. Home, pur home purchase, nothing new. Have a baby ain't nothing new. What can I? What can a man really do with you that's new that somebody else ain't already done? We we can become a, we can be get we can get married. We can become accredited investors. We can travel to other parts of the world that I haven't traveled. We can create new memories just within H Town domestically. What so else? So listen, can we what do? you just said. After I marry you. Then we can go places that you have not already went, but you've been to these places. So what if the places that you've already been, I want to go? Oh, no problem. Because the point, we no, can no, listen, our listen, own listen, listen, there. listen, listen. No, no, listen. See, to be a high value man, I had to work 60, 80 hours. So I couldn't get out there and travel. So now it's ready to go. And ready to go. It's like, all right, we married. Let's go over here. And I'm gonna know you already went there. We can try to make it new, man, but you know what it is. Once you've already been someplace, there's nothing new. There's no new magic with older women. And you keep talking about this accredited investor and this and that. We don't care about your money. No, it's mean, not about my money. Listen, it's about listen, our. Listen, no, listen, you may do well, but guys on my level, <laughs> baby girl, <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's what, a month income? I mean, really? It's not that big to us. And guys like that. It's like, no cap, but it's like, no, I you can become a credit investor. So it's like, this bag costs more than this. I bought this girl a bag that will cost more than your car. The point is, you don't understand that men want to feel like a king. And it's hard to make a man feel like a king when you've had so much experience with other men in life. You got a full nine-year-old. We're gonna go out of we're gonna go out of okay, let's uh, okay, you know what? You dating me. All right, you know what? I want to go work because my wife will never have to work. Never have to work. You know what? I want to make content from Spain. All I need is an internet connection. I'll take my I'll ship my sister. I think Okay, we're going to go to Spain, Barcelona, and we're going to actually live in Barcelona for three months. Oh, we can't do that because your daughter has to be in school. Not true. Virtual learning, and we can bring the nanny with us. And nanny. the private tutor is virtual as well. Uh huh. And I got to pay for a nanny, and I still have to. I still. And here's the thing. I don't have my wife in Barcelona having butt naked freaky circus sex, doing all the things I want to do as a as a young married as a as a married couple. We're we're already a ready made family doing that kind of stuff. That, that's why you have a nanny. Yes. No, a you nanny can do is all of that. Oh Jesus, she's not listening. See, this is why this is why I say this is why I say <laughs> I you, lady, that you ladies don't get it. You, I, look, ma'am, I've been on both sides. I've been on both sides, and I will tell you right now. This is why I said. Women who are pet owners and being you, you, you are a parent, and your in your um, dating a parent is just there's no the spontaneity. You can't just be spontaneous. That's like true. You can't be with. That's true. The thing I is, have to schedule and the thing all is, my. Yeah. And the thing is, the the kind of men you want, they value those kind of things. True. I mean, you think I'm be like okay, we're gonna go to Barcelona. And I gotta gotta buy a nanny something so but all that is is more expenses. It is. Uh huh. And then also I got to uh, we got to talk to your uh, ex, your baby dad. We can, we need to get him sign off on that because we can't take the child 
out of the continuous fire. We got we got to do all that because you just can't take these kids. Mm -hmm. And if he say no, then we got to do what? That's that's that is if that person has that type of barrier. I understand that would be an issue. Right. And what if the kids say, I don't want to go. Oh, baby going to roll with mama. I right. mean, so, so baby going to roll with mama. So I don't want to be gone. So if the BD said, I don't want to go, he has legal rights. He has legal rights. And if you guys have any kind of custody agreement, you can't take the child out of the contiguous counties without giving a knife. I would never violate anything like that. So if he says no, you can't take the child. You just simply cannot do what you want to. Absolutely. And so, and even if he says, okay, and if she says she don't want to go, okay, well, she going to roll with mama. So that means the entire time in Barcelona, I got a wife and I got a, a nine-year-old with an attitude. I want I'm sorry. you to create a different scenario. All right. Well, we, we've had, okay, I've already, I've, all right. This is, <laughs> and here's the problem. This is the, this is a situation. But with, I hear with, you though. This is the situation you ladies with children put yourselves in and the higher up you go on the food chain, the more you want for a man, you, you never seem to understand that the men you want, want things. They want a lifestyle. They want to move a certain way. It's always the man that you want, all these lists, and these guys are supposed to just want nothing. No, they got requirements. That's why they'll deal with you. But when it's time to pick someone, they tend to pick a woman who has no children so they can make their own family and their own legacy. I cannot I cannot over I cannot overstate that, but ladies really seem to have a hard time accepting it because of the choices you've made and you can't undo them. I respect it. But yeah. you can't undo them. I gotta get on to the next caller though. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Kevin. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah.